Hi there! Welcome back to The Well Kitchen. I'm Kara Hare. I'm a registered dietitian and I specialize in family and childhood nutrition. So anytime that we can get kids in the kitchen is a win in my book. Uh, and we're going to be able to do that just that today with the recipe that we're making. We're doing animal toast and we're doing four different animals today. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Grab your kids and let's get going. So the first one that we're going to make is uh, teddy bear toast. And so we're going to start out with some nut butter. I have peanut butter, but you could use any kind of nut butter or seed butter if you want to go um, nut free. And so we're just going to do a nice layer on here. I've already toasted the bread. And once you get a layer of your nut butter on there, you're going to take some banana slices that I've already sliced up and you're going to add two for the ears there and then one more for the nose and then I have some blueberries here and you're going to add two for the eyes and then one more to go with the nose and so really that's it it's so simple to do and the kids love it so we're going to add that right there and the next one that we're going to do is actually an owl and for this we're going to use cream cheese as the base and one thing that I really always recommend is if you're introducing a new food to a kid, so maybe cream cheese is something they're not familiar with, or maybe they're hesitant to try, you can make it uh, into a fun way and expose them with something that's novel and fun, exciting, and this would be a great way to do it. So just kind of seeing if maybe this will be a new way for them to enjoy it. Uh, and then we're going to add on some banana slices for the eyes and some blueberries to go for the pupils and then we do have a almond that I'm going to use for the beak. Almonds are actually a choking hazard for kids under four years old so if you do have any little ones that are younger than that go ahead and use some raisins, you could use chocolate chips, uh, really anything will really work. And then for the wings and the feathers of the owl, we're going to add some um, strawberry slices here. Uh, and you can just basically fill up the bottom of um, what you have left of your toast. And that is it. So really simple, another easy one to do. Perfect. And then the next one that we're going to make is a fox and for this one we're going to use both nut butter and cream cheese so we're going to start you're going to make a triangle at the top with nut butter and just to get that signature fox look with the triangle at the top of the head doesn't have to be perfect there you go and then with the rest we're going to fill it in with some cream cheese and again, these are great to have for breakfast, for lunch, for a snack. So really versatile and just a fun thing to do um, to make your toast a little bit different than normal. And then since foxes have pointy ears, we're going to use um, strawberry slices for the ears, some more banana slices for the eyes, and some blueberries for the pupils and then a fox has a really pointy nose so we're just going to put one little blueberry at the tip for the nose and that is uh, the fox we lost an eye there you go and then the very last one we're going to do is a monkey so we're just going to put some more peanut butter on for this one there you go and then for this we actually cut up cut banana slices in half so we're going to have two half banana slices for the ears we're going to have some blueberries for the eyes and then another couple banana halves for the mouth and just keep that a little bit separate there. And that is it. You have four banana or four animal toast. Very versatile. You can even make your own. Uh, looks like we lost some eyes 
some eyes there as well. You can create and have your kids make whatever kind of animals they want, so really sky's the limit. So go ahead, make these, and have some fun. We'll see you soon.